Hello, my friend, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today, we're going to be looking at a compact copper module design that I've been working on. The first thing that we need is a copper node, and you're going to put a miner and position it to where it is going to be able to feed into the module, which is a three by three foundation setup that contains everything that you need to produce wire as well as cable. Now that our 3x3 is set up, you're going to want to make sure you have enough clearance to be able to feed into a splitter right here. And we're going to start off with two smelters just to make sure that we have enough place. We're going to take the smelters and put the inputs facing inward. And we're going to position them on the edge of this, the module, like so. And now we're going to position a splitter right between these. And we're going to put the input on the outside facing the miner. And this should do it right here. The miner will connect to the splitter. And the splitter will connect to the two smelters. Like so. The next thing we need is constructors. We're going to take the constructors and put them with the outputs facing inward. We're going to line them up with our smelters and we're going to go on the outside of these and connect them with conveyor belts like so next we're going to use a conveyor merger and put them in between the two with the output facing outward like so and then just connect these two and now we have all of the ingots coming from the miner into two smelters going into two constructors that both need to be configured to wire. So for this next segment, the placement is kind of tricky for everything. We need a storage container to be able to catch wire and we're going to need a container to catch the constructed cable. And we need one more constructor to be able to do that. So we'll take another constructor and set it down with the output facing outward. And that's about as close as we can get it. So now we need a splitter to feed into these two. And what we'll do right here is put the splitter somewhere like this. This ought to line up with both of them. Conveyor belt goes right in the storage, and conveyor belt goes right into the constructor. Now, that's perfect. Let's just connect this merger into the splitter, and now we have our loop. The only thing that we need to do now is properly store the cable after it's created from here. So what we can do is we can set up another storage container and put that right on top. And now finally all we need to do is connect the constructor to the final storage. So what we'll do here is set up a pole that's right in the middle of the last splitter. We'll raise it up by two. And we'll take our conveyor belt and connect the constructor to the pole just like that and then the pole to the storage. Now I find that if you go any higher than this what what will end up happening is you'll get it to where it's encroaching it'll go now if you get it any higher than this what will happen is it'll say that it's too steep and if you get it any lower than this it'll say it's encroaching clearance so this is the most compact that i've been able to get a three by three let's set it all up and make sure it performs correctly the completed module looks something like this it takes 25 megawatts of power and it pushes out or being mined from a copper node into a splitter, which then gets split into two smelters, both creating copper ingots. Those copper ingots are fed into constructors, both producing wire. The wire gets funneled through a merger and then split again in a splitter, which goes into another constructor and a storage unit. Half of the wire goes into storage, while the other half goes through this constructor, which produces cable. 
the cable is then fed into the final storage container. This setup can easily be tweaked and sped up with the use of Mark II and Mark III belts, as well as overclockers on any of the constructors, and of course a Mark II miner. I hope you guys really love this design. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Break it down.